do you want to know how to put text behind objects in video, just like this? Let me show you how. Let's go. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Eric Bullard. Thank you for checking out this video. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get right to the tutorial. So first, what we're gonna do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, we already have the video on the timeline and we also have the text on the timeline. If you don't have text on the timeline and you wanna add text, all you have to do is press the T button, boom, click inside the thing and type your text. Then you can drag it over your video and you can do this very easily. All right, I've already got the text made. There are a couple of ways you can do this animation. Both use the mask tool. So if you go to your text layer, we can use the ellipse mask or the pen tool to draw a mask. So in this one, we're just gonna do create ellipse, create ellipse. And as you see, it already creates one for you. You can adjust it, do it around your subject, what you wanna hide it behind. As you can see, the text layer is actually in front of my face. We want it to look like it's going behind me. So we're going to go over here under graphics and click inverted. As you can see, there it goes behind you. And that's kind of the simple way you do it. All right, the second way to do this is really simple. It's a great way to do it if you have multiple um, text files, so you don't have to copy and paste or redo the mask for every single text clip. What you're gonna do is click on the video layer, hold the left click button, hold down Alt, drag it up, and let go of the mouse, then let go of Alt. So that is, Mouse, Alt, drag it up, let go of mouse, let go of Alt. You've copied it. That's just a great way to make a second copy of a video or any clip that you have. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to go to the top video layer. As you can see, none of the text is showing up because the video layer is on top now. So we're going to make a mask on the top layer. We're gonna do an ellipse mask and just do the shape of my head. Our text is going to be hidden behind me. And that is a simple way to kind of do it. But to get it perfect, what you're going to need to do is actually do a mask path. And so you want to click this stopwatch animation next to mask under your effects. And once you do that, it will make a little diamond shape here. And you can go forward three or four frames, readjust your mask, you can even rotate your mask if you need to. And you wanna do that every three or four frames to make sure it's staying behind your face or your object, whatever you are making the mask behind. So I'm going to uh, do this so you don't have to watch me do the mask over and over. All right, I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see, I use this tool right here to zoom in and get closer to the subject and to really be able to correct that mask however I needed it to. And I didn't do the best job ever, but you kind of get the point on what you need to do if you want to do this effect. So let's go back and see what it looks like. Do you want to know how to put text behind objects in video just like this? Let me show you how. Let's go. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Also consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna have more tutorials coming up. Also, if you will click right here, that's the uh, video YouTube says you're gonna like the most. See you in the next video. You're still here? You can go.